Are you suffering from the headache again? Me? No, I'm not. You shouldn't lie to a doctor. Fine. A bit. Just a bit. Some warm water will help. I don't need those... those things. I don't dislike your tooth fairies. It's the texture that creeps me out. I've tried multiple times. You know how it ended. Don't worry. I have some drugs for humans. Wanna try? Oh, that's surprising. Thank you. How about the future of those kids? Are you talking about the dear girl or Joshua the troublemaker? You can tell me one by one. It's a long trip back to the headquarters. We have plenty time to chat. Joshua will pay for what he did. Absent from duty without permission is a severe violation of the regulations. He will face a demotion and be grounded for three to five months. Of course I'll apply for lenience for him, but I think it won't make much difference. We don't have many means to help him. Burton might be a good choice. You mean assigning him to Burton's team? Exactly. If we can make Burton apply for that, he'll be put through a much milder punishment. After that, he'll be free to leave with Burton. This is a good idea. How about Jessica, the dear girl? She... She needs to receive some education to become adequately socialized. Based on her result of the amended Arcanist Risk Evaluation Chart, this little girl is very dangerous. We rescued nine hostages from her cave. Three are from the film crew. The other six are from the student expedition team that went missing six months ago. The validity of that chart is debatable, for it doesn't have a sufficient number of questions to draw a conclusion. Yeah. When we arrive at the Foundation, we will give her a more comprehensive test. But that doesn't mean that she'll get a higher grade. We all know that the amended version tends to overestimate the examinees. Can I visit her while she's in the Foundation? Of course. Chatting with someone familiar is conductive to embracing the community. You don't need to worry much about her. We'll treat her the right way. The arcanum shown on her is of a very unique kind, and she'll be helpful in many experiments. That's good, but I still have one more question. Go ahead, Doctor. Members from the Xeno also participated in the rescue. Did you call them to come? Yeah. This should have been their responsibilities. To be more precise, all of these problems were their fault. Are you talking about the missing of the youth force? What? No. But wait, what missing youth force? The myth that Xeno Youth Force disappeared overnight at the Green Lake campsite. Haven't you ever heard of that? No, never. Where did you hear that? Joshua told me. He's just a young man. Impulsive and can tell a story from a fact. Why would you believe... Never mind. Back to the business. By the end of the 50s, Zeno found a bunch of critters with unique appearance in the woods near the Green Lake campsite. As they continued to investigate, they found a special moss in the woods that can trigger changes in appearance. In order to conduct further research, they built a campsite and held some camping activities as a disguise from time to time. The critters mutated and evolved very fast. Meanwhile, the town prospered and the nearby population soared. After several incidents of attacks on local residents by flat creature subjects, Zeno decided to move the campsite out of that area. That dear girl was neglected during the moving. She was left at the Green Lake and kept on secretly living there till now. 
other craters that escaped have hybridized with the local breeds and hence created the new craters you've encountered. They more or less carry a lineage of changelings, which are very hard to deal with. But thank God you've brought this girl under control. Jessica has been like a friend or leader. I think she's more like a leader or even a master to them. Zeno conducted military training to the first batch of creators, so they are more obedient than others. Your Jessica is like their commander. She gives orders to the creators at the bottom of the lake through a radio hidden in a remote control so that they act in precise alignment. So you knew the truth of the Green Lake campsite from the beginning? It was Zeno's idea to clean up the mess with the Foundation. They contacted me before. <sighs> if you could have asked me earlier, like, before you depart, we wouldn't have to go through so much trouble. Kids were ignorance for lack of knowledge, yet adults were ignorance for their cognitive inertia. In a story where truth and falsity are mingled together, it is hard to tell which is which. What did you say? <laughs> nothing. Nothing important. Have you heard of what happened to my brother? Huh? Your brother? What happened to him? Do you know how his teeth disappear? Um... I don't want to offend anyone, but wasn't it because of the curse of the tooth fairies? <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Nah, nothing. As for my brother, I will tell you more later. Hush now. Give me my camera. Where trees and grass grow. Silence. You should not make an enemy of the earth. Good timing. I see it sharp. Left hand up. Now right hand up. Advice from the forest. Sempre caro mi su queste regole. Just wait with bated breath. Good timing. The reticent woods are watching you. Good timing. Woohoo! Release! I will pray for you. Sorry. Let's 
chance of a pussy then! You should not make an enemy of the Earth. They're just little games. Good timing. <laughs> Advice from the forest. Stop me up. Good timing. What's that? Nice. Advice from the forest. Ah, oh, it seems to be mixed up. It should be fine, right? They're just little games. What's this? What's that? Rock, rock, rock! Change the world! I'm sure it's all the ingredients this time. It seems to be mixed up. It should be fine, right? Peace and love! Peace and love! I know what this is. <laughs> this is my best formula. <laughs> this is the gift well prepared for you. Lost you with the armor of the forest. The ingredient store owner said it was very effective. Please believe me. Good timing. <laughs> Everybody, let me see your hand. Advice ah. from the forest. No need to look back. Enemy of the Earth. <laughs> Stop me up. Good timing. Advice from the forest. No need to look back. Peace and love! Peace and love! <laughs> Good timing. They're just little games. Look back. Woohoo! Release! The rest of the woods are watching you. What's that? Good timing. I weave the gown with thorns. You shall repay the sacrifice of wounds. I can not give up his friends. Peace and love. Neither will stop Advice Daddy. from the forest. <laughs> Good timing. Stop me up. Penetrate. Penetrate. Left hand up. Now right hand up. Oh, 
What's this? <laughs> They're just little games. The ingredients your owner said it was very effective. Please believe me. Using troops 